The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On your husky! Other dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo League dogs, blaze the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. When Fritz Schultz walked into the Gold Nugget Bar in Dawson City, he was greeted by loud guffaws from the men at the bar. The cause of their whoops and hollers trailed calmly in Big Fritz's wake. A dog about twice as long as he was high, Fritz's dachshund. He lay down beside his master's chair, his long pointed nose resting on the tiny leg stretched in front of him. Yeah, there's that f***ing little dog again. What's he got on him, a sweater? Yeah. That thing ain't really alive, is it? Hey, I'm going to quit drinking. I'm seeing <laughs> Still got that funny looking dog, Fritz. Not for this time, a husky would take him for a sausage and swallow him. Yeah, yeah, laugh, laugh if you like. Schnitzel is the best friend I ever had. You don't know him, that's why you laugh. Uh, what's that you got on him? Did you knit him a sweater? <laughs> no, no, he ain't got long hair like these dogs from the north. And he just fits into my wool stocking, mit holes for his feet to come out. <laughs> well, don't you Santa Claus left him in that stocking? Nobody'd ever buy a thing like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on, laugh, laugh. But nothing you can say will change what I know. That schnitzel is my best friend. Ain't you, boy? Hey, oh, he's a oh, 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 Sergeant Preston. Hi there, Sergeant. Sergeant, we want you to see something funny. Come here. Huh? Hey, this is Fritz Schultz. Fritz is Sergeant Preston, Northwest Mounted. Hello. How do you do, Fritz? Come on, Fritz. Show the sergeant that thing you call a dog. Make it stand up. <laughs> uh, your dog is so big, will he? King won't hurt him. Well, yeah, maybe, Sergeant, you'd have two at my schnitzer. But he's a very good dachshund. Come, boy. Oh, yes. He's a very nice dog, Fritz. Hello, Schnitzel. Hello. You don't laugh like the rest? Of course not. Dachshunds are very intelligent little dogs. He does look rather funny in that sweater, but uh, it's practical in this weather. Well, thank you, Sergeant, for not laughing. You're the first one who don't laugh at him. Have you been in Dawson very long? No, just a few weeks. I've not made friends. They they all laugh so at my dog. Oh. That makes me mad, and then I can't talk. Well, you mustn't mind a little joking. I'll do it all the more if they see that it bothers you. Have you a claim near here? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I've been lucky. A bit, I, I assure you what I took out today. Look. Well, look at the size of those nuggets. You stuck it, Rich. Hey, will you look at this? When did you hit it, Fritz? A week ago. Well, uh, will you look at that? Hey, fellas, Fritz has got some. Ah, maybe now you won't laugh, huh? You better put those away, Fritz. I'll say you better. Ain't you heard about all the robberies around here lately? Well, no, I, I ain't heard nothing. Well, he's right, Fritz. There have been three robberies in the last month. That's why I had to cut my trip north and come back here. They got me two weeks ago. Took two bags of nuggets. Have you found out anything yet, Sergeant? No, Frank, I haven't. See, there's not much to work on. You didn't see their faces, and we have no clues. Oh, I'm not afraid. I'm a good shot, and Schnitzel tells me when to get my gun ready. Well, guess maybe it's better I get some sleep. I'll walk along with you, Fritz. Come on, King. Yeah, now, come, Schnitzel. Yeah, I carry you. <laughs> he can't walk so fast like your dog, Sasha. Good night, boys. Good night. Hey, Pete, I want to talk to you. Yeah? Come on, here in the back room. Strong, Frank. Did you see the nuggets Fritz Schultz was carrying? Yeah. He said it was one day's take. Yeah. You know where his claim is? Yeah, somewhere near Bear Creek. I passed him twice near the bend of the river, going that way. If we could catch him coming home and have a boat waiting. Yeah, but um, Sergeant Preston's in town. We can't take a chance. I was the first one to report being robbed, wasn't I? He won't. 
Lucas. I'm afraid of that dog of his. He's so good at trailing. He can't trail a boat. Now, if we handle this the way we did the last one, hit Fritz over the head, get the gold, and jump in a boat, we're safe. Fritz Schultz chuckled happily as he added a handful of gold nuggets to his sack, almost filling it. Schnitzel sat on the bank of the creek, looking at his master solemnly. Ha, <laughs> ha, Yeah, gold, gold, Schnitzel, huh? <laughs> ah, for you and me. Mm. Ah, no more will we have to worry about our old age. <laughs> Soon we go home to Milwaukee. Get us a little house, then we sit back and be happy, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, come now, boy. We go home to our supper. Hmm? Ah, get behind me now, Schnitzel. Sometimes you go so slow, I might step on you. Ah. <laughs> ah, today we take out more good than any other time. You know, maybe we should stop and have a little celebration, huh? Ah, oh, it's too bad, Schnitzel. You can't take a little drink now and then to warm up your cold inside. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Schnitzel? Why, you act so bad. I got him, Pete. Oh! Get away from me, you mutt! Get him, Frank. Kill that dog. I'm trying to! Come back here, you devil! Did you get him? No. Now he's gone. He's a little... Well, where'd he go? You should have killed him. Now he's around here somewhere. Uh, tore my boot. Hey, look, Frank. Here's a foxhole. Think you went down there? That's just what he did. See those tracks? Come out of there, you! You can't get him out of there without digging. Now we can't waste any time. Get that gold and we'll head for the boat. Schnitzel crept out of the foxhole where he'd run to shelter from the cruel club of Frank. He whined as he licked the face of unconscious master, then barked frantically. Old Fritz didn't stir. Finally, the little dog with one of his short front legs held up before him limped painfully toward town. Hey, get away from me, you silly-looking hound. Go home. Quit following me. Get. Funny-looking dog like you, go away! <laughs> yeah. oh, stop following me! I hit you with this stick. Hello, uh, hello Sergeant Preston. This funny-looking animal—he he keep following me and barking all the time. I cannot make him go away. Why, that's Schnitzel. What's the matter, fellow? Quiet, King. One's enough. That's the way he act with me. He follow me. When I turn around, he run down the street another way. He belongs to Fritz Schulz. Where's Fritz, boy? <laughs> oh, he acts so funny. Maybe something's wrong with Fritz. Oh, you think so too, don't you, King? Let's follow him, Andre, and see what's wrong. way for such little dog to go. Yes, I wish I could carry him, but he has to lead us. King's so far ahead. Oh, that's King. He's found something. There he is. And there is man lying there. Looks like Fritz, all right. That is Fritz. Hmm. And head over the head. Fritz, what happened? Uh, him, him. Somebody hit me. My gold. That's yeah, a nasty crack on the head. We are not very far from my cabin. We could take him there. Good idea, Andre. Here, tie this around his head. We'll have a look around. Hey, King. <laughs> well, there you are, Fritz. Your head's bandaged. Now, you'd better lie down for a while. Ah, donkey shame, Sergeant. Now, maybe you could look at Schnitzel's leg, huh? 
Those low lives hurt him. All right, Schnitzel. You're the next patient. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll keep him here on my lap. It's better. <laughs> that funny sweater, he'd hide his shoulder. Well, they must have kicked him in the shoulder. Uh, yes, Fritz, we better take that stocking or whatever it is off him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, Schnitzel. I'll take off your coat. Hmm? Easy, no, boy. No, 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 no. Yeah, be lucky those cooks didn't kill you. His tracks led down a foxhole. Guess that's how he got away. Yeah, Schnitzel is nobody's fool. He knows to retreat is sometimes better than to go... Hey, but what isn't this here? What? Something fell out from his coat when I took it off. Well, let's see that. Uh, it is torn from Mucklock, no? It looks like it. Uh, what is this, 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 uh, 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 Mucklock? Oh, a uh, Mucklock is a boot made out of hide with the fur inside. Schnitzel must have torn this off the boot of the man who hit you, Fritz. Now, yeah, but uh, how did it get in his sweater? Well, probably caught in the sweater when he went down that foxhole. He had to scrape along on his stomach. By God, he gave us clue. Yes, Andre. This should make it easier to find them. There's no way of trailing them. They had a boat waiting. Ah, Schnitzel. Sure, a little dog, yeah. But maybe pretty soon we'll be doing the laughing. <laughs> Fritz and Preston sat at a table in the Gold Nugget Bar. Schnitzel and King lay quietly beside their master's chair. Uh, Sergeant, for three nights we see nothing suspicious. Maybe that robber won't wear that boot. Well, have patience, Fritz. I think both Schnitzel and King will know him, whether he wears that boot or not. They know his son. Hello, Frank! Oh, hello, boys! Schnitzel, quiet. Let him go, Fritz. <laughs> Get away from me, you dirty bird! I'll show you! Up that gun! Get him, King! Help! Oh, my man! Get away, you! Help! Help! Take him away! All right, King! Back, boy! Schnitzel, come here! Come back here! You should know better than to pull a gun in a place like this, Frank. Think I'm going to let that cur chew my leg? What did he try to bite me for? He seems to have something against you. Perhaps you kicked him or something. I ain't been there. Been out of town for almost a week. Come on, Frank. Let's get out of here. Not so fast, Pete. Frank, did you tear your boot while you were out of town? Yeah. What's that got this to do with... This piece of hide I have here in my pocket. I think we'll find it just fits all in your mucklock. Maybe you'd like to have it to patch it up. Come on, Frank. I'm Stop, going. Pete. Watch him, King. Maybe you can explain, Frank. This piece was freshly torn from your boot three days ago while you were out of town. Why? It could... You're be under right. arrest, Frank, for the robbery of Fritz Schultz. I'm holding both you and Pete until we search your cabin. Why, you can't... Quiet! Now march out of here, both of you. Watch him, King. A week later, old Fritz Schultz was having his evening drink. Sergeant Preston smiled as he joined the friendly group around the old man as Fritz bought drinks for the house. For everybody, Bonnie. Drinks for the house. Hey, did you say they use dogs like Schnitzel for badger hunting? Ah, sure. They're the best badger hunters in the world. But uh, this time, Schnitzel catch two skulls. <laughs> That's right. He caught Frank and Pete. Ah, did you get back uh, all your gold, Fritz? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks to Sergeant Preston and King. Ah, that king. He saved my schnitzel's life when that loper tried to shoot him. Chum tried at that gun. Well, here's the drinks. Boys, I'd like to propose a toast to schnitzel. A smart little dog with a lot of courage. And also the king. A big dog, but even more. <laughs> These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Hugh Holder speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.